Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the behind the scenes exclusive look at The Angel of a Madman. Uh, this is the seventh installment of the series. I mean, you know, series, you know, minute, two minute videos, but kind of letting you in, you know, behind the curtain of what went into this book. Uh, the book's not available on audio and audible on iTunes, so pick it up, check it out, please. Uh, today, you know, one of the big themes in the book is mental health, mental illness. And I talked about it a little bit before when we discussed Bracket, but, uh, you know, when when the book was born in my head, there was uh, one of the things, it, it made me angry. You know, we've all been touched by mental health and mental issues, uh, personally or through relatives and friends. But I remember the time, there were a couple of, of girls here in town that committed suicide. They were, I think, 7th, 8th graders. It was incredibly sad. And at the same time, Robin Williams died, uh, committed suicide. Well, there was a big push. You know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But yeah, I think it was a month later, Kim Kardashian got naked with the champagne bubbling under her butt. And everybody, everybody, everybody forgot about it. And, you know, that made me frustrated because th there has to be communication to help people. You know, I've worked with teens and uh, at, at high schools, and I coach, as many of you know. And, and at those ages, it is, we forget that the raging hormones that make the kids grow hair and all kinds of weird stuff, it also affects their emotions. And it's important that we acknowledge this and realize this. And you know, and some kids go through the growth spurts, go through the old awareness, the hormones leveled, their mental health, you know, we say, oh, moody teenager. Well, moody teenager, I mean, that, that, that they're dealing with Im chemical imbalances in their body that makes them you know, act different ways. Some people grow out of it, some people don't. And we have to be cognizant of it and, and not look down on it, but want to help those people. You know, it, it's not magic, it's not witchery, it's chemical, it's, it's your body acting weird. So, and, and another, you know, another insight that went into the book is, I, you know, I Uber, that's, you know, since I'm a famous author, I have to Uber to uh, to keep the cash rolling until we make this book into a movie. I picked up a couple after a Christmas party, and they were the the, the lady was crying. Uh, the husband was trying to be very comforting, but you know it was very awkward to pick somebody from a Christmas party on you know that sad. So after they kind of calmed down, I dared ask the question, you know what happened? And she told me, you know. The, the, the another couple whose son had committed suicide showed up and nobody was really expecting them to show up and when they showed up it kind of opened the dialogue to a lot of what happened and the party went from a party to almost awake so that, that made me realize that it's hard to talk about mental health mental illness suicide when the tragedy happens you know we want to we really really want to but it's hard it, it's you know as and it takes, you know, we have to be able to talk about it when we're removed from it, not because that's when we're going to be all a little more calmer, our emotions are going to be more settled. And, and that's what I want the book to do, to open the dialogue, you know, to parents, you know, talk to your teens, not only about the birds and the bees, but you might feel depressed, you might feel angry. It's okay. It's just your body going through changes. If we have you know somebody who is, you know, suffers from mental illness that we can spot and talk to them not when they're at the edge or when tragedy happens but beforehand because it is it is it is as common as a lot of, you know asthma and a lot of the illnesses out there but we still look at it as in you know some mystical thing so Again, you know, I've rambled enough, but what I want the book to do is to, to help open the dialogue and to see that it's not something fantastical, but just part of the human experience that we're all going to experience, you know, like it or not. And we need to be respectful and cognizant and empathetic to our fellow man and fellow woman and about it. So I hope that gives you a little, you know, I know this was probably the heaviest of, of, of the installments, but it's the reality of our life. and. Is something I want really want to 
bring across in the book. So check out the book upstairs, downstairs, they're, they're, they're there, the links, click on the links. Check out the sample, Steve, as I mentioned, amazing narrator, brought the book to life. I, I, I could not be happier. So, you know, enjoy the book while you work out, while you drive, at work, when you're bored. I used to do it during, we'll go over that in another installment. Uh, thank you again for your time, and we'll see you soon. Bye.